Welcome to Reykjavík Greipind Newscast. My I'm a coach Valur Grettisson, editor in chief at Reykjavík Greipind. And I took with my 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 chief of officer morale, nay, morale officer police, <laughs> whatever. Uh, this is Polly, my dearest friend. Uh, and she always makes me happy. We are of course here in front of uh, the incredible volcano in Geldinga Dalurs. It is connected with Fagradalsjall. Let's just keep it like that. Uh, it, it's not a good weather today, but it was fantastic when we started actually. And that's a typical day in Iceland. It can be a very nice minute, one, maybe one very nice weather one minute, and then it's gonna just turn into some hellish nonsense. So, before we, we uh, begin, I just want to remind you on our sponsors, Instuk Beer, also uh, our online shop. You want to buy like clothes like this, if you want to go hiking and so on, this is the clothes that you want to buy. Uh, just go there, it's 66 degrees north. Uh, if you want to buy a gas mask, you have to Google it. <laughs> it was like, it's a little bit tricky to find it, but it's not, it's, it's a good investment if you're going to come to, to this area. But there's a lot going on here, and I, I'm going to tell you everything about it, and just, what a volcano! <laughs> What happened last night uh, was that, uh, uh, sorry about that, it's even hard to talk here. What happened last night was that the other crater, and you can see it there, the crater to the, to the left, the one that it was, you, see, you see all the lava coming from, this was the, like the smallest one just like five days ago or six days. You can go to our first video and you can actually see it. You see the larger crate and then you see a very small one next to it. This monster is now the bigger crate and there is much more activity in it and the other one not so much. It's still, of course, huge, the other one, but what's gonna happen, and it's inevitable, is that they're gonna merge together and become one big volcano. It's actually quite surprising how small it is. I mean, I know this looks like, uh, like a mortar in, in the Lord of the Rings. I don't blame you for seeing that, <laughs> like how, how similar those two things are, uh, but this is just a very small uh, eruption in Icelandic standards. So, just to show you how small it is actually, uh, then Fimmerdahals, uh, our last small eruption, we call it a tourist, tourist eruption, uh, it was only, it was 15 uh, cubic meters of ash, of lava that came out of it. I think it's cubic meters. If, if I'm doing it wrong, just write it in the comment. You know better sometimes. So, uh, this one though is only five you know, cubic meters uh, per second, meaning it's very small. But it's a very, it's a consistent pastor, to be honest. I mean, we thought this would be just be over like in, in a day or two. But now they're saying, well, uh, all of the scientists are saying that the, the theory they're working on with now is that this is a, f a fusive volcano, meaning that this could go on, if not for years, then for decades, which is just mind-blowing if you think about it. Is the snow gone? Oh, finally. <laughs> Trust me, it's, it's not very easy to be here. It's both like... You have to somehow deal with the weather, you have to deal with uh, this, of course, and then you have to deal with gas. So to be here is quite the tricky thing, but it hasn't stopped Icelanders to come here. Thousands of Icelanders have come here uh, past a few days, and none of them have uh, gotten hurt badly. Uh, none, of, none have died, which is uh, uh, pretty positive, I think. Uh, so, how are we going to do this? And you can just see this here, how big it is. We are now, like, just, just for you to understand, Ars perhaps stops a little bit now, I'm going to show him. Uh, we started the last video in this hill up there. 
And if you think about it, when we were here, uh, we were actually very close to the mountain, which is probably like what? It's probably two or three kilometers from here. It's like ridiculous length. So yeah, there is enough coming out of this uh, uh, volcano. Another thing, like all of this lava here is breaking and like crackling exactly, like on cue, break. <laughs> So uh, what's happening is that it's filled with hot lava uh, and it's slowly like pushing, pushing and pushing until in the end there will, they will, we will push out like a tongue of lava. Because yeah, I think it's the only way to describe it actually. Uh, uh, and when that happened, of course, they would like fill, go, fill the valley even more. And in the end, it will be like, a, it will be actually Pretty similar to like a, when you have a, a T, you have a, what, this center. Uh, it's like a, like a, if you, if you turn it around, that's how it will end up looking when this whole thing is over. The only question is basically how high it will go and if the lava will, in the end, burst out of some of the valleys, valleys that, that are around here. If that would happen though, and they think it will happen in up to 18 days. Wow. And when it will happen in 18 days, uh, we have another kind of danger going on. It means that it could go uh, to, the, uh, 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 to the east of here. Uh, and when it goes to the east of here, it will go over the, the road uh, towards the ocean. Hopefully uh, that will not uh, destroy anything. There are not many constructions around in this area. And the reason that there are not many constructions around in this area is because, well, we knew that this was a volcanic area. <laughs> so we were not very enthusiastic like doing the, like uh, building up neighborhoods right here. But it's been a wonderful day. We've had sun, we have had uh, horrible weather, and it's gonna be probably brilliant when we, co when we head back. <sighs> so, just to uh, uh, get this all together, in short, what's happening now is that we have two huge uh, volcanoes. Uh, they are emerging into one, and last night, for example, it was so much. There was so much activity that we could see it uh, from the city. Everybody, it was like hundreds of photos that we saw on, on the social media. So the, the volcano is very visible now from the uh, from the city area. Uh, we know that this will be filled up in 18 days, and after these 18 days, uh, the, this lava will probably try to find, itself, that, uh, find a way out of this valley. Where it will go is the big question, and the danger and the uncertainty right now. And all of this here is filled with lava. It's, it's just like that. So, this actually is, I'm, I'm a little bit too close actually, but this could burst out and it could be very dangerous for a lot of people. And that's why of course uh, the police and the civil guard are quite paranoid about what they like, uh, like how, where people are and if they will be allowed to the area and so on. So that's kind of the situation. This volcano is dangerous by, by nature, of course. There we have no other than Dr. Matthew Brody. How are you? <laughs> You're using the mask? Yep. There is like, just, just for you to know, if you want to come to this area, uh, there are three different kinds of, uh, of gas, uh, what, what do you call it, like gas, version of gas that is going on here. The, the, the most dangerous one doesn't have any smell or anything, could kill you actually pretty easily. The other two, uh, they are not that dangerous, but they can uh, hurt you in your throat and your lungs. And they will hurt you in your, like hurt you uh, probably not badly, but you will perhaps be like, like I'm now, like what do you call it? Like, irritated. Irritated, yeah, irritated exactly. But what are you going to give us in the next episode? Yeah, so uh, we're planning a, a, another episode of Saga Stories, uh, focusing especially on uh, appearances of volcanoes in the sagas, of course, and we came here to shoot it. Brilliant. Can't wait. I love these stories. There are few that can say these stories in such a clear and good manner, so I'm looking forward to it. But until next time, like and subscribe if you like it, of course. 
uh, and like, yeah, just rock on, I guess. <laughs> okay. Happily. Yeah, three kinds of, of gas. 